It is all about being bigger and faster and stronger this week on The Early Show. And 10-year-old Stephen Peruginen is definitely faster than anyone else at sports stacking. We're also joined by Garrick Liddick, a judge with the World Sports Stacking Association. Morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. There you go. Now, how long have you been doing this? I've been sports stacking for a year and a half now. About a year and a half. How old are you? I'm 10 years old. So wh where did you, did you see it on TV or something? Yeah, we saw the World Sports Stacking Championship. That uh -huh. happens once every year. Right. On ESPN in August 2006. Yeah. So did you have to go out and buy a set of these things? Yeah. Or a few can you weeks. try it with Dixie cups or something? Uh, no. Well, actually, you can't do it with Dixie cups because these have three holes in them, uh, and they're made specially designed from the WSSA. The what? The du they're specially designed from the WSSA. What's that? The World Sports Stacking Association. See. Now that, I didn't know that. I didn't know that. <laughs> so if, for competition, what do the kids have to do and what, what are the sort of the time frames and stuff? Well, there's different uh, There's different age groups. There's uh, 16 different age groups from yeah. four and under to yeah. 60 and above. But what's and, the basic content? And, and, and well, there's three different individual patterns. There's a 3-3-3, three, 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 the 3-6-3, three, three, and the cycle, which is right. the premier stacking. And Stephen holds the world record in all three of in them. In all three of them. Okay, let's do the 3-3-3 three, three, three first, right. right? And what's your record? Do you know what your record is in the 3-3? Three, Three, three? Yeah, it's 1.86 seconds. All right, let's give this a shot just for fun once. Are you ready to do the 3-3-3? Three, three, three? All right, don't blink because you'll miss this. All right, go ahead. Ready? Wait, 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 wait. All right. Ready, don't blink. set, go. Oh, His world record wow. is 1.86 seconds. One point. All right, one more time just for fun. Ready, set, go. Unbelievable. Yeah. You were just a skosh off the world record bet, about 1.9. So now what's it? three by three and what's the other one? The 363. Three. Let's do the 363. Three. All right. World record's 2.34. On your marks, get set, go. Oh, he beat the world record. Unbelievable. And that was in 2.31. What's the world record? 2.34. Holy cow! If this were a world competition, you would have just broken your own yeah. record, dude. Unreal! And real quickly, what's the last one? The ultimate stacking pattern is called the cycle. It combines 40 different moves. Okay. And the starts world with the time is what? Uh, 6.21 seconds. All right, let's do on your mark. Get set. Go. That's oh, it. there you go. Good job. Oh, unbelievable. Thank you, man. That was really good. Hey, thank really, you. Really, really appreciate it. All right, now, for more of our bigger, faster, stronger competition this week, we have two Rubik's Cube masters here with us, brothers Toby and Tyson Mao. Each have perfected their puzzle in their own way. Toby formerly held the record for speed, while Tyson was the fastest to complete the cube blindfolded. Good morning, guys. Good morning. Good morning. All right. <laughs> so how long have you been doing this? I've been doing this about five years now. About five years yeah. now, and? He taught me. He taught you. Yeah. The little brother taught the older brother. Yeah. OK, so have you You already started with a, with a cube, and you've been blindfolded now. I was memorizing this earlier. Oh, you. So you memorized the pattern ahead of time, and oh. then put on the blindfold. Right. And I shouldn't be talking to you now, I, probably. Well, well give, me a, give me a second. Okay. I'll be OK. <laughs> <laughs> Talk about breaking your concentration. What is the key? Do, do you really, uh, is there a given pattern or is it different literally every time you pick It's up? different mostly every time. You uh, recognize certain steps and then you do it step by step. And uh, I'll show you the first step really fast. I'm uh, Listen, uh, yeah. my bad, my bad. Go ahead, you know what? Here, just mix, Here. take this right. one and, and make it go. All right. Oh, see, he's got it. Uh, he take this one, memorize it, blindfold it. I bet you can do it in a heartbeat. All right. So, on a given cube, can we mess one up? Can I mess sure, one up for sure. you just for fun? Yeah. And I'll give you a cube, and I want to see how fast you can do it. All right. All right. How many moves does it usually take? Uh, it usually takes me around 50 moves to solve 50 it. Moves 50 moves to minutes. solve it. All right. We're going to set this down. We're just going to go, say, ready, set, go. Okay. Ready, set, go. 
Now, do you, can you talk and cube at the same time? Uh, this wasn't very scrambled, but... Uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> now, see, if I had given that to Dave, he'd be with it most of, most of the rest of the day, right? Yeah. Now, are there giant competitions around the world? Yeah, the there's a uh, you know, competition radio around every two weeks, uh, yeah. all over the world. Yeah. yeah. Can you make money doing this? Uh, not really. Uh, most of the events are... Uh, personally uh, sponsored, but some of the big ones, like the World Championships, right. they have prizes. Right, yeah. okay. So your brother is, meantime, memorizing this cube before right. the blindfold competition. And I asked him now that he, because he went to Caltech, of course, where else would you go right. if you were that brilliant? And he's out of Caltech, and he is uh, working in a hedge fund. Doesn't that make we, all we don't, the we sense? We don't actually talk about that. No okay. one's supposed to know that. Nobody's supposed to know that. There you go. Dave's here. Yep. Dave, you want to have a little friendly competition? Uh, yeah, why don't I blindfold myself? Yeah, yeah. it's well, okay. He's ready. Yeah. Okay. All, right. all right, here we go. We're going to let uh, Mr. Mal take a little crack here. Shh. Don't so. interrupt this process. We've got a little clock going here. Yeah, don't cheer. Don't cheer. Concentration. You can, you can you, talk, it's you, fine. I just, yeah, just don't ask. Right? Anyways, right. So you taught him? Yes, I taught him the Rubik's Cube after I learned at a summer camp in uh, 2003. Yeah. What summer camp was that? I went to uh, John Because I think we probably went to the yeah. same camp. Yeah. Yeah. Did, you to, did you go to math camp with me? Uh, yeah. uh, you and who taught, who, who taught Will Smith for the movie? Uh, we both did. I started teaching him, and then my brother went in when I had some school or something. Yeah, okay. All right. Hold on, well, you hold on. on a Wheaties box. You uh, are the Boston Celtics of the Rubik's Cube. Hold on, look at that. So a lot of people think, you know, Rubik's Cube is very difficult, but it's really not. Anyone can learn it. Really? Oh, anybody Julie's can? Julie's coaching him. I'm telling you what I'm telling you. No, well, you're not telling me, and I'm struggling here. There's no hope, Dave. We have 10 <laughs> seconds. I don't think we can there do it, go. Dave. Wait till hey guys, tomorrow morning. Thank okay. you so much for being with us. There you go. I will, next time, I promise not to interrupt.